Austin here with another Acoustic Design Weekly video. Today I just want to touch on structure cans or smart panels, whatever you want to call it. Um, so with this specific structure can, uh, we actually ran these wires while the home was still being framed or just after it was framed um, before all the drywall went up. Um, and I came in afterwards and I wired up all our equipment. We all also, you know, clean up, you know, structure cans from older homes. Maybe we didn't wire the home, that's okay, we'll still come in and uh you know clean up the structure can or, or or you know put it put in a new equipment you know if you haven't already moved in yet so whether or not we've wired the home we will we will do this um and in this case i just want to go through you know exactly what we have going on in here this is similar to most structure cans that we that we wire up or most systems that we provide so in this case, we have our fiber coming in from Cox Cable that connects to our Ragnus router down here. And we have our Ragnus router feeding our net, uh, 16 port Netgear PoE switch. And see, we outran all these wires in the home. So, you know, all the uh, TVs in the house, all the TV locations are pre-wired with CAT6. So, you know, those TVs or whatever is behind the TV isn't relying on uh, a Wi-Fi connection, they're actually getting a more reliable hardline connection to the network. So that's why we do that. Also, we have the wireless access points in the home pre-wired, which are connecting to this switch. To give you an idea of what that looks like. It's a wireless access point here in the closet. And we have our Lutron bridge. This is for the customer's lighting in the home. We have our uh, cable splitter right here. Then we have our phone module for all the phone locations in the house, which can also double as hardline network locations, depending on whether or not you want to connect it to the phone module or to the network switch. This brick right here, that's simply just the power supply for the Netgear PoE switch. Come down right here to the bottom. We have our watt box, which our network switch, modem, and router are all connected to. So this sits on the network. So if our customer you know, is having any issues, we can actually remote in and reboot certain devices for him. And in the case of this specific watt box, it actually will proactively reboot internet devices you know if they're going to go down so the way i have it configured right now is if this can't ping out to the web it'll reboot the router and modem for the customer without them even having to know whether or not the internet went out because most of the time you know if something is having an issue just a simple reboot will fix it you know assuming it isn't like an actual isp outage or something like that also on the structure can, we have our NVR up here, network video recorder. So our uh, customer's cameras, four cameras around the house are connected to that. We have a Sonos Connect amp up there for our customer's patio speakers. And then like I showed you before, we got our WAP up there. So yeah, it's just a real basic explanation of one of our structure cans or smart panels. Catch you guys next time.